watching Good Day Kentucky on ABC 36. Welcome back to Good Day Kentucky. Well, today is January 27th, International Holocaust Remembrance Day. In honor of that day, we have Gracie and Madison, two students from Asbury University's Journalism Department, joining us today to talk about their documentary, Don't Forget Us. This documentary takes a different look at the tragic events of the Holocaust. So Welcome, we're, ladies. Yes, so glad to have you both here glad with us today. Glad to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. So talk about, I guess let's just start, when did this project start? I mean, the duration it's taken to get to this point. Yeah, every year they always have a psychology group go and analyze kind of the emotional impact of the Holocaust. And just recently they actually were going to do a documentary a couple years ago, but it was prolonged because of COVID sure. and everything. So I think they just decided to pick it up about a year ago mm -hmm. and they started getting us on the crew one by one and we recently, you know, moved on to it, but it's been a great experience, so. How long yeah. were you guys there? Because you actually traveled mm. to f make this documentary. Tell us about that part of it. Um, after some delays, we finally got there, but we were there in Germany and Poland for about 10 days. Yeah, and got to visit these concentration camps. Yes, mm -hmm. every yeah. day was a new day, definitely. Yeah. It was call time at like 6 a.m. Sure. At most 10 hours, yeah. probably filming different concentration camps, four to 10 hours. And then in the evenings, we were expected to be tourists and kind of go around and sightsee and, and switch a mood, which was very interesting. Right, yeah, because I mean, it, it had to be. I mean, just take us kind of through the emotions because everyone you know knows how horrific the Holocaust is, but everyone says that, at least that I know that goes to these concentration camps, they're like, it's overwhelming really i mean was that kind of your experience or just take us through kind of the emotions of actually being in these concentration camps i had a different experience um at auschwitz mainly because i had the camera in my face and i was more worried about filming sure mm -hmm. um it was very difficult just because there's a lot to look at we were at auschwitz for more than eight hours and it's a lot to process and it was harder for me just because I had the camera and it was hard to look at everything. I had to make sure I had to film everything because mm -hmm. there was no way we could go back. And so mm -hmm. it was a different for me. Yeah. yeah, so that's the thing. You say process, whether you're working or you're a tourist, either mm -hmm. way, you have to be at this place where it was humanity's worst, where people were, didn't yeah. have any humanity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I don't know how you process that. I mean, no. what were the thoughts you guys were having? It was, it was a lot of anger and mm -hmm. hopelessness, mm -hmm. and it was also the stress of being in it, because we've never been in a different country before. Mm -hmm. This was all new to us, yeah. being in a different country, being in just the worst places ever, also knowing you had to get footage and, and be there for work and be kind of on in a way sure. and also process through these emotions. So it was very, it was very taxing, definitely a lot of crying, I would say, yeah. behind the scenes of it mm -hmm. and because also on. Because you have on. to detach a little bit because yeah. you're working, yes. but yes. that is so overwhelming. Yes. I don't know how you do it. No, it was, it was very difficult, I would say. Yeah, even after coming back while editing the footage, I was still processing it. Um, yeah. I took about three months to edit the first draft, and it was still hard to watch the footage and yeah. process what all had ha happened. Because yeah. when was the trip? The trip was uh, late May of 2022. Okay, so okay. late May, and so you've worked on this since then. So, I mean, the, the documentary is complete? Yes. Yes, we yes. premiered it in October yeah. at our university, and we had about 300 people mm -hmm. show up in person, not including the people online. Yeah. So. Wonderful. And so, I mean, what's kind of been the response that you've heard from people that have now seen this documentary? The response has been overwhelming. Yeah. Um, everyone seemed to seems to have cared about it. Um, just last week, we started back up at Asbury, and a lot of people have came up to me saying that it stuck with them over winter break, and mm -hmm. they showed their parents, and um, it really interested them in learning more about the Holocaust yeah. and everything that happened that we didn't show. Because mm -hmm. to me, you know, the purpose of this is to never forget, and not yeah. only to memorialize the people who suffered mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. but to use it as safeguards to show what we are more than capable of doing to one another yes. if mm -hmm. love is not a safeguard yes. there someplace. Exactly, yeah. and we need to keep doing stuff like this and making projects about it and taking days like these, like Holocaust Remembrance Day, to really get into the zone and process through these events and emotions so it doesn't happen again. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sure, is that your overall hope and goal for people mm -hmm. that see this documentary? Absolutely, yep. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if someone out there in our audience today wants to watch it, are they able to do that, and how so, if possible? 
Um, is it available online or? It's not available online right okay. now because we're planning on putting it in film festivals. Um, oh, how yes. exciting. Yeah, so we're going through that process okay, right now. Well, good. Well, keep us up to date because, yes. yeah, I know there's a lot of people that will want to see it. Um, Asbury University, amazing opportunity for you guys to mm -hmm. be a part of this documentary and amazing for audiences to get to check it out soon as well. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies, Thank thanks for being with us. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Yeah. Thank Appreciate you. It. All right. Thanks for being with us today, everybody. You're watching Good Day Kentucky. We'll be right back.